the best Google Chat tutorial step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Google Chat. So let's get into it. Now, Google Chat is a simple to use communication platform created by Google, and you can use this in many ways for your business or your team. All you have to do is go on to your browser, search for Google Chat, click on Google Chat over here. And if you have logged on to your browser with your Gmail address, it would automatically be logged on. If you haven't, you will have to log on to your Gmail account, but everyone has one. So most people already have it logged on to their browser. And now I'm going to give you guys a view of how to actually navigate through Google Chat. To get started, I will explain to you the first panels that you have. Now on your left, you have your navigation panel where you can browse your chats, your spaces, workspaces you could say that you can create and then your meet section the meet is a meeting section that you can create in google chat then on your top right you have your status bar so you can set yourself as available in a meeting set as away so you appear offline or you can enter more chat notification settings and you can have certain spaces that you can block for notifications for a certain amount of time. You can enable or disable notifications from here or you can also choose to only enable certain email notifications that you might want or certain notifications uh, that you might find important. And then on your notification center, you also have your dark mode and light mode. So you can change this into dark mode or light mode accordingly then like beside that you have your settings you have your google apps then you have your google account which you can switch as well then on your right you have your calendar you have your keep section where you can create different notes then you have your task section and i'm going to show you guys why i find google chat to be so helpful and it's because it has this section where you can easily create and perform and complete different tasks. And then you also have your contact section. So in your contact section, you can view all of the people that have been saved into your contact list on Google. Now, as you can see, to get started with Google Chat, first off, I'm going to explain the spaces section. So within the spaces section, you can click on this plus icon over here and then create a new space so you have four different options over here either you can choose to check your message request you can browse different spaces so you can join another person's space and then you can also click on create space to create your own new space or start group conversation where you can enter multiple people and then start a group convo so one of the most efficient features is to create a space and a lot of people use this for their businesses or for their team or whatever of a kind of organization that they are running to manage all of your communication you can just click on create space over here and then let's say i want to manage my it or like so you can name it whatever you might want and then you can enter the um, emails of the people that you want to add onto this space then you can click on this emoticon section to add a emoticon to represent your space so just to use any of these random emoticons and then you can just click on create over here and this will create your new workspace. So you can see I have this new space. Now I already had a previous space and now this is a new space. And if I click on these three dots over here, I can choose to pin this. I can manage the notification. I can also leave this space and blog and report a space as well. And within your space, you have your chat section. So this is this chat section. You can type in messages. You can add certain special characters, bold, italic, and underlined and cross characters. You can add emoticons, GIFs, and you can also upload your files and add video meetings to your spaces as well and then you also have this plus icon over here where you can add uh, stuff from your google calendar invites your google drive files or any of your other google docs slides or sheets and then you can just begin adding people and adding sharing files onto this simple chat section after that you have your file section and within a space you can share certain files and all of them will be placed within one section which is going to be the file section so you can easily manage all of that from one area over here so you can click on add file and upload any kind of files you can click on upload my drive starred computers so you can see who uploaded what file and when it was uploaded all of that information could be stored over here and then you have your task section so this is one of the most effective sections on google chat which i find to be a lot more helpful than discord or any other platform is that they have this amazing task section which allows you to manage simple and easy tasks and manage your workflow directly from google chat so you can just click on add space task and then add the title of the task so let's say find new product 
And then with a task like this, you can just click on the task, add more details to the task if you want. I, I will just add X, Y, Z. So you can add more details. You can also add a date and time, and this will automatically be set onto your Google Calendar. So the due date will be automatically synced, and then you can click on assignee and assign this to a certain person. Then you can also click on view in chat, and then you can take a look at what the task is going to look like in the chat section. And then you can also choose to delete a task. And when a task has been completed, you can just click on this over here and this will be marked as completed and it will be moved to the bottom of the screen where you will find all of your completed tasks now this is a simple way to manage tasks and you don't even have to you know open up a certain workspace you can just click on the task section on the right and then click on add task and then you can add tasks over here and you can also choose to set reminders for certain tasks as well. And you can also view your My Task and click on Create New List. And then you can create your own custom to-do list like this. And right here, while you are on Google Chat, you will be able to create your own personal to-do list that you can manage directly for yourself. So if you're working in a larger business or a larger company, then you don't have to, you know, where you, you know open up each individual space to look at your tasks. You can just go into your task section and take a look at all of your personal tasks that have been assigned to you and this will allow you to further you know simplify your workflow and if you're a part of a larger working scheme then it will be a lot more easier for you to manage everything on this platform because it allows you to segregate your own personal work another great part about google chat is the meeting section so you can just click on join a meeting and join any other person's meeting with a meeting code or you can click on new meeting over here and you can choose to invite people using a simple link like this you can click on share invite and then you can also click on start now to begin the meeting allow you to do video conferencing with the rest of your team i highly recommend to most businesses and most people to check out google chat as their communication platform because it just is so simple to use and then you have your basic chat section where you can compose different messages so you can just click on this click on start conversation just look for a person whatever person it might be and then you can just type in their email and start sending messages to whatever person it might be and then you can also minimize messages like you can minimize multiple chats at once so you can see i've minimized these three chats all at once while i can be working on something else in the meantime so this will enable you to still be able to stay up to date while you are working on your desktop or your browser on something else so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find any missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video